And looks like we're going. Okay, guys, welcome to GAC 3v3. This is going to be round two, uh, season eight, week four. Uh, last week at 3v3. Again, 5v5 is coming up next. Uh, I decided we're going to do, let me take my glasses off. You're not seeing the glare. I decided I'm going to try this kind of format again. Sorry, Nooch couldn't be here. I'm sure we'll see him more in the future. Just that. Okay, so my opponent today is. Hadriel Jetberg. Now, let us go over. Let's take a look at tail of the tape. Let's uh, see if I can move me over a little bit here so we can see some stats. Okay, we'll put me up top. All right, so he is, he's only in a 220 million guild, which would explain his uh, six star watt. So rank, his lifetime score is 266. So I'm not sure how serious he is about G, uh, GAC. Um, he's got me in undersized wins though. He's got me in clears, I uh, more than double your defense, buddy. So GP, I do have a 400,000 GP advantage on him. So keep that in mind. Uh, but top 65 GP, we're about eight. Equal ish, I got about 30,000 on him. Ships, I got an advantage on him in ships, but I don't know how much that really factors into these battles. Uh, Zetas, I got him in Zetas. For speed, um, we're pretty much even in our top 80 uh, speed and our uh, gear 11 plus average speed, or I guess that's red, that reads greater than gear 11, so that's gear 12 and the gear 13 average speed. We're about even. I uh, got an advantage on him in gear 13s, gear 12s, gear 11s in mods. Um, I have quite a hefty advantage on him in mods. Uh, six dot mods, almost double. And then I got, what is that, nine more plus 20 speed mods. So I 24 plus 15 speed mods. And like eh, about 80 plus 10 speed mods. Uh, relics, uh, I do have more total relic levels, but he has more tier seven. Now I see he does, he is going for Kylo right now. He has Galactic Legend Ray. Um, so he is going for, for, for Kylo, and I see that he's got like uh, Crew 7, uh, R7. So you know, we might have. Uh, shot up the, the GP a little bit prematurely on that one. I'm also going for Kylo, but I'm kind of uh, I'm building one first order team that I can use in 5v5, but like Hux, I'm only leaving him at one for now. I'll bump him up when I'm ready. Um, Stormtrooper two, and the rest of the people I'll leave it like one. Palpatine's at one. Not even one, I think he's at zero. So uh, this guy's just going straight for it. Um, if we look at our at our roster, so he has an ultimate Galactic Legend Ray, quite a bit faster than me, uh, which I wonder, I'm assuming he must have a speed set on because his health is quite low for a Ray. Don't know if I like that kind of modding style. Um, gas, my gas is faster, doesn't really matter. Darth Revan's were about equal. He saved his for offense, his Darth Malak's faster, his Bass Lashawn is faster. Most people's Bachelor Sean Fallen's are faster than mine, but I like my speed mods elsewhere. Um, you don't really need that much speed on a Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, I, I think that you could pair that back to 300. 300 is like kind of where I like it. I think that's just wasted speed because he's with all the speed bonuses, you you really don't need that. You could you could shuffle that uh, somewhere else. Uh, our Watts, oh, he's only got a four star Watt. So it's benefits of being in a in a high GP guild. You get your you get your shiny tunes faster, except for Cam, which only the top top guilds got. Uh, Padme, he's running speed speed Padme, um, but my health way higher. I think health is more more important. Oh, da da da. Gad, you know, this is uh, Jedi Knight Anakin. Who cares? Thrawn, really? Who cares? The rest of these characters, no one really cares about. Not a big deal. Does not have the malevolence yet. Again, benefit of a high GP guild. All right, okay. Let us get into the battle. Move me down here. Okay. So 
So uh, interestingly enough, I did not scout this guy. I was down at the lake, didn't have time, didn't have a laptop with me to fill up my spreadsheet. So I'm going in blind on this one. Uh, we'll go over what he did to me on defense. Uh, he cleared me, obviously. So he, uh, see that? So look at that. So he two shot. The only team he two shot was that Dooku Django Magnagar team. Otherwise, he saved his ray for offense, uh, interestingly. Uh, so he one shot mine. I just put kind of scrubs because uh, after that battle with Nooch, I like Bears with my Rex. And then he one shot to this whole zone, um, not surprisingly. And then he one shot my Malevolence. All right. Okay, so let's see what he's got up top. Uh, so there's the infamous uh, Fin Fin team. And then uh, that's interesting. I've never seen the Vader uh, Wampa Gamorian Guard team. And then First Order and then a Dooku team. Dooku's are pretty standard on defense. And then in here, so the pole with the one vet, I think I got that on my defense, but I got the other vet in there. Uh, Talzin, Doc of Spirits, I don't know if you should be putting that on defense, really, no. Um, so yeah, let's get into it right here now. Let's go right after the tough team, and we're gonna use CLS. Uh, CLS has become the proven counter to this team. If you don't use CLS, you may get raffle stomped. So go right after uh, Finn first. Let me cut down some of the game sound here, guys, so it's not drowning me out. There we go. So yeah, you go right after Old Finn first. I tried to strip the turn meter off of Hero Poe, failed. So I'm gonna go back and just stun him, right? I'm just gonna control him. So now I'm gonna stun Old Finn, since he's got the most turn meter. Oh, maybe I don't. Nope, I decided to try to reduce his turn meter, which works just as well. So we'll bypass, we'll go right after Poe, didn't get it. So what do I do here? Buffs, and then Chewie's gonna come along and ba-boom, bye-bye Poe. And then yeah, just uh, mow him down. Bye. 54 banners on an excellent defensive team. That team is awesome if they don't use CLS on it. All right. So I wanted to get that one out of the way and done because I know that I'm going to use CLS and I don't want to be tempted to try to use it somewhere else. So I'm now I'm going to go down and I'm going to open up the back zone. So we're going to go right after uh, uh, Geos first. Now he has Watt with the Geos and I haven't seen that. So I was contemplating, do I still use my trade? Do I do something differently? But then I thought, nah, screw it. Let's, let's try it and see. Uh, because it sh in my, when I was thinking about it, it should work. I didn't see how it wouldn't work. Uh, so I thought I'd just do it anyway. So they kind of pile on Nihilus at first, which makes sense. He's only year 12, so he's the weak one. So they're going to pile on him. I'm just watching the turn meter, and there we go. So now I'm going to get my pain out there. And then everyone's going to be focused on Scion. And my Scion's modded. Uh, well enough that I don't have to worry about it. Now, right there. So you bring in Watt, right, to put the techs out. You put the tank tech on the Brute. Isolate just nullifies the tank tech. So I think this is, I think this is a waste of Watt. You could use him so many better places than this which i'll show you on on offense so you know what i'll use them with for but uh it, watt doesn't do anything to this team yeah it's it, it stalls it out because um with the health tech i think that's the health tech yeah it looks like that is the health tech on uh on spy it, he will be recovering a whole bunch of health protection which makes it a little bit annoying uh, but yeah, what like he goes? He, he did the, the tank tech and then health tech. Like ideally, you'd want weapon tech on spy, right? But he did not do that. So I would not recommend putting Watt with your geos and putting them on defense. Geos, okay, they're 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 oh, put them on defense, but no, save your Watt guys because now it's just picking them apart. Brood or the brutes back there doing nothing. Now I'm just gonna focus on the. Uh, Brute Alpha, there he goes, bye-bye. And now the team is just clean up. So I think uh, I, I go for, I'm gonna switch over to the spy here shortly, but then I realize that he's gonna start healing. So then I'm gonna switch my focus back over to the Brute until uh, spy becomes available to kill. So this rest of this battle, just me picking him, picking him down. Right here, I switch over to the spy, but you know, 
this team, although great on offense, you know, there's not a whole lot of damage. Nihilus doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's more control. So there. So yeah, Spy's back up to full health protection. So now I'm just, just picking away at the Brute until I can annihilate Spy. Right. It's just annoying. I'm going to try to manage banners. Treya's full health and protection. There, there he goes. Bye-bye, Spy. Game over. So 52. Um, I'm not going to scoff at 52 against the Bugs. Easy peasy. Let him squeezy. All right, so this uh, Talzin Daka Spirit, nah, no, nah, no, nah, nah. that's, that's an offensive team. Don't put that on defense, guys. So here's me shuffling my teams. You know, I like to uh, have everything nice and sorted for me. So I used this against Nooch. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but it was quite effective. Yep, shuffle. There we go. Ready? Okay, Bastila, Jedi. Healing, damage, uh, bonus protection, all the good stuff. Everything you need against the Mother Talos and Daka Spirit. So uh, go after Daka, kill Daka until she's dead, and then it's yours. So uh, last time when I went up against Nooch with this, uh, his uh, Talzin did manage to land plagues. And I'm fairly confident they're not supposed to still has to go through a potency tenacity check so i i don't use the world when i save it just in case play goes out but there we go look at two stuns boom so they overcame the added tenacity that i got from my bonus protection so it's surprising but no plague so let's call in a soaking for assist boom i don't want docket to get a heal off so i'm gonna whirlwind her now she's gone stun her now it's just try not to lose banners. Still reading Shakti's abilities. I think I decided just to clear that foresight off of there just so she uh, hits a little less hard. Let's get rid of Talzin. And now let's go in there and uh, clean up. Let's call it in. Let's just basic. Done. And my Shakti has a fast uh, offense set on her. 54 banners against uh, Mother Talzin which should be designed to strip banners. So that's a good counter in my opinion. I'm gonna keep that one. Although we only have one more match and 3v3 is gonna go away for another couple months. All right, so looking at what's left, you know, I don't know why. Let's just clear the bottom. Uh, ooh, Joe Rogan, okay. Joe already posted on Saturday for. All right, what do I decide to go in here with? I can't recall. So Poe, oh yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I didn't want to use something overkill because, again, I didn't scout him, so I don't know what he usually sets. So I choose – well, I'll just tell you, I choose Nest, uh, the Kira Nest Hoda team. I was a little bit concerned that that R7 um, Scav Ray could uh, pop off and kill my Nest, but I have enough teams for offense. I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, if it worked, it worked. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm going to go right after Chewy because even though he's an R3 Chewy, I know he's going to hit hard. He's going to stun. You know, I just want to keep control of the match. So look at that. But boom, all my protection gone and a little bit of health. Uh, yeah, R7 Ray. So there we go. All the protection gone in one hit off of from Vandor. Or not Vandor. Um, veteran Smuggler. And there you go. She deleted Ray. Which, you know, I was kind of figuring that the R7 Ray is going to do some damage. Oh, there goes Chewy, and now I figured let's just let's just get rid of Poe. I'm pretty confident now that my nest can take the hits, and she is. Um, there's a ch right here. Oh no! Now I'm gonna try to stun her. Didn't get the stun. Oof! It's hard. All right, let's finish off Poe. Let's use the AOE, and right, we're gonna finish off them all. Not good banners. Only 49, but. I'm concerned only with one shots at this point since he uh, uh, struggled once against my Dooku. All right, so now this is my first shot seeing him in the back. Uh, my first gut instinct when I saw that EP Malik Basla team was, okay, that's going to be the one I'm going to struggle against. Um, Gear 12 B2, okay, I know I'm going to use my, my Jedi against that. Um, not too concerned with the Bastila team. That's a timeout team that, um, I'm going to be able to, to deal with very effectively, you'll see here. And then we got the infamous 
uh, Newt uh, Asajj uh, zombie team, which is very good. But uh, I got a counter that uh, deals with that very handily. And we're going to deal with that right now. And what am I going to use? I'm going to use my favorite team in 5v5 and 3s. And that's going to be, oh, oh, no, no, not you, not you. Don't do that. Go back down there. Select. Good, Dialar. Um, it looks like my, uh, it's wartime in Marvel Strike Force. All right. Old Ben, Watt, and Wampa. So you guys have seen, if you watch Indigo stream, if you watch a bunch of other guys' GAC streams, you know that this Newt team can catch you. And once it does, you can struggle uh, pretty hard clearing it. But this team, of course, I've got an R7 Wampa. That helps. I love my R7 Wampa. That was one of my, not my first R7s, but he was a very quick R7. Um, so Old Ben's R4. Watt is only gear 12. This team is basically going to nullify all revives. So you're going to put the tank tech onto Old Ben. Keep him taunting. Couldn't put the weapon tech immediately onto Wampa. Now we're going to go. I'm just going to disregard the uh, the taxes right now, just so I can get that uh, turn meter reduction in the ability block. I'm going to do that first. Not too concerned with extortion in this fight. So now I'll start paying it off just to get rid of it. But I'm going to just delete Newt. Oh, he's not coming back. Yeah, Weapon Tech. Yeah, weapon Tech says no, bye bye. No, no, no free lives. You go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Just, just die. So yeah, this, this, and now watch. Bye bye. Oh, oh yeah, I'm getting ramped up here. I want to make sure I get four banners. As soon as I can, I'm going to delete you guys. Oh, you can't strip the taunt. Sorry, no. Uh uh. Let's just say good night. Bye bye. Bye. Great defensive team, but. Ob Wat Wampa, You're not standing up to that one. All right, what are we going in here with now? Oh, we're going to do the G Grievous team. All right. So I said, I think I said in my last video that I was going to maybe attempt the uh, go after B one first, but then my uh, I'm a creature habit and it got the best of me, and I said, nah, nope. We're going to do what I always do. Since it's only gear twelve, B two, uh, we're just going to nullify B two as quick as we can, just so I don't have to worry about it. And I don't think it, yeah, it doesn't take much. Bye bye. B2 is gone. All right, now it's just heal. I don't think I've even practiced Adria yet. This, now it's how many banners can we get back? Uh, I'd like a 54, but as you see, uh, we got a lot of out of turn attacks if we're going to build up that much protection. Jolie's a little bit close. Um, maybe I can get there with Yoda. Uh, keep AOEing now so I can pull some stacks off of B2, B1. Let's reduce some turn meter on Grievous. There we go. Let's keep calling in. I'm going to try to draw this out. Yeah, so I'm wondering, I can't really tell where protection is now given the bonus protection. I, might, I think I passed this over to Joe Lee. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. Just going to keep calling in. I don't know where Joe Lee's protection is right now. Oh, there it is. Okay, so she's close. So that's going to get Jolie close to full and Yoda close to full. So now I'm going to stall, heal. <clears throat> I'm going to stall. And I'm going to pass this over to Jolie, I do believe. No, I don't. What do I do here? Basic. Now I'm going to call in Jolie just to bump up his protection. And how close do I get? 53, full protection on Jolie and Yoda. 53 against Grievous, I'll take that. Yes, I will. All right, what are we gonna do now? Uh, nope, not going for EP, scared of you. Scared of you, more scared of Malik and Bachelor Sean Fallen. Let's check her speed. Oh, 314, yes, yeah, she's 314, so she's fast. And uh, what's even worse is that my Darth Revan is, is exactly 314 speed too. So now I don't know. So now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to pick up some stuff that is uh, going to be fairly easy. I do believe I do Dooku first. Um, what am I stalling here for? What did I do? Did I go to the bathroom? No, if I did, that was quick. All right, Dooku. Oh, well, the OCD is kicking in. Shuffle these teams. 
What am I going to use on Dooku? What do I got left? EP, Night Sisters, and that's it, I do believe. And we're going to go with Night Sisters here. I think that was an all gear 12 team, right? Come on. What are you doing, Dylan? All right. All right. I guess I just want to shuffle teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going back to that EP. I know you're scared. You're nervous. That's going to be the one that's going to catch you, isn't it? Oh, oh, check the speeds. You don't need to check EP. It's going to be slow. Am I doing it? Am I going right after EP now? I am. Okay. So check my speed. Oh, yeah, I'm exactly 314. So then I started thinking, okay. I actually, I don't think I go in here. I just, yeah. Check the speed again. What do I do? I think I go after crew here now, actually. I think I leave, I leave EP to last. Let's go up and go. Let's go get that crew. Yeah, you can come back to it. Don't worry. Oh, Dooku. Yes, Dooku. Uh, this team, this Dooku team, I think it's just something you throw on there just because. But without Django or Watt, I, this is just kind of ineffective. I go for the stun. I don't get it. But then watch this plague. Mother Talisman's loaded up with offense. Oh, if I almost deleted Dooku just through for AOE. Uh, R5, or no, wait, R4, Talzin with uh, offense set. I do believe she does have a potency cross, though. So now I'm thinking, okay, Plague is going to probably kill Dooku. She doesn't. Comes close. That kind of kind of gave me a little bit of hesitation, seeing Daka that far down in health. And she's got a uh, heal immunity. So now it's like, what do I do for banners? Okay, let's, let's do this. But I was thinking I might kill it close. No, don't kill her. Don't kill her. Okay, try to heal. That, that was dumb. Why did I try to heal? And then Daka, you see right there, right at the end, somehow she got back all that health. So 52 banners. I don't know how Daka, on her basic, maybe she gets health when someone dies. But yeah, Daka went right from half health, right to full health in one hit. So that was easy. Well, I figure we'll take out this crew first. As you see there, he's got an R7 crew. So I don't, you know, in my opinion, I wouldn't do that, guys. Especially look at his mods. Sorry, buddy. But if you're going to R7 someone, you might as well deck their mods out. Um, what am I going to use? I'm going to use JTR. Because uh, I guess I'm not that scared. Although I am, I did switch this up. Because yeah, I see a lot of people running this now. I think Nooch ran it effectively against me. I'm going to pull R2 out of here. And I'm going to put in C3PO. And I think, I think, and I'm think I'm going to keep doing this going forward because this works really well. It offers a lot more control than what C3PO can actually bring. The stuns from 3PO are nice, but um, the uh, call to assist, the mass call to assist, and the uh, confuse is a, is a lot better. I think I put it on crew. I think I do. I think I don't call in the AOE right now or the the mass assist yet. So I put the confuse on him right now. And now let's get rid of Fox. It's only gear 12 fox there you go oh you missed oh you guys you missed you know you really you tickled me there kylo um what do i do just confuse him no i was figured i got rid of fox so bye bye fox um yeah the crew's gonna go luckily he went right after b2 sucks that i lose b2 for two turns but now we'll just stack on the confuse I'm going to call C3PO in to assist. Oh, didn't get to go. Um, you know, my Ray is decked out in defense mods. So she's tanky tank, an actual tank. Because um, uh, you know, this team's more about control. You know, you know, look at uh, R7 BB-8 did 10,000 on a crit. So BB-8's not doing a whole lot of damage. The damage on this team is all coming from Ray. But she gets enough free turns. Especially with the three stacks of translation on there, she can keeps reducing her cooldown. So that she's got this match hand. Now I'm just trying to drag it out. See, I didn't call in the, the master system. I'm just trying to drag it out so I can get this. Illuminate Destiny off. Pop everyone back up. Okay, now let's put it to bed. Done. 54. Thank you. Thanks, crew. Easy peasy. Now, Vader. 
Do I go after Vader now? I don't think I do. No, I don't. I actually leave Vader to last. What do I got left? I got gas. I got DR. I got the Mandos. And I got EP. So I, I do believe at this point, I'm thinking, ah, oh, screw it. Let's go deal with the monster, with the scary monster on the field. Because that's the one that's going to cause me some difficulty. I check out the speed on his Vader, 220. Mm, sorry, nah. R7, Gamorrean Guard, though. That's uh, that's some dedication right there. Um, loves his piggies. But let's, I think we go after Bastley here now. And I, I knew right away, Stolo team, I'm using um, – my boss commandos because I think wait the thing here is force them on Zalbar and then uh, or not Zalbar on uh, yeah Zalbar uh, Zalbar is going to keep taunting not going to take a lot of damage because of Barris um, Vandor is going to keep reviving but uh, Bosk and the Mandos can just bypass the taunts we're going to go straight after Vandor yep Get him. Not sure where my con. Oh, 50%. So let's call in Boba. Vandor's gone. Um, try didn't trying to avoid him because I don't want to get take the hits because of retribution. Um, people they're pretty we're pretty much still topped off. Zalbar's tickling me. Uh, we're gonna just basic Ferris. Go oh, contracts up. Oh, you know what that means. Let's get let's clear those buffs. Go clear those buffs, Boba. Thank you. Okay. Oh, one time speed. And this team, this Bosk, Boba, and uh, Mandalorian, it's working okay. Yeah, it really is. Uh, definitely getting my use with the Mandalorian in 3v3. Okay, Boba, put him in bed. Bye bye. 54. Another 54. Hmm. Be nice if they up the rewards in these battles, huh? You know, you know, I'd almost rather not get rewards than just a little bit of credits. Like, you should give like a, I'll take some uh, some mod slicing, some sixty mod slicing material. That'd be nice. All right, let's go after let's go after the monster. Okay, so my DR is just as fast. What I look on here is you get you get speed for each of your debuffs at the start of battle, right? Or not at the start of battle, but you gain speed for your debuffs. So I'm wondering, since you gain ferocity at the start of battle, will that instantly up my speed? Because if my Darth Revan goes first, I can do insanity on EP and get control right off the bat. So that's what I was hoping for. But I quickly find out, let's bring in Bastlechon, because that's the ultimate control damage team. I quickly find out right now that's not the case. And their Bastila wins the coin toss, right? Not a big deal, though, because uh, you know my Bastlechon Fallen was able to go, and then we quickly gain advantage. Luckily for me, no one got stunned. Very lucky for me. I didn't check the potency on his EP. Uh, what do I do here now? I think I go after Bastion Sean Fallen, so ability blocker. Did not get the ability block. Now let's see if we can nullify Palpatine. Close. So I got the taunt up on my Malak, though. And there goes EP. All right. So now Bastl is the, uh, the target. Yeah, go ahead. Life drain my Malak. Killer. Okay. Yeah, oh, and that, that sucks. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, and now bye bye DR. But now I, I use Life Drain there because I'm trying to get my stacks up to match his. Shock. My taunt's up. My taunt's gone. There we go. Let's keep control. Uh, Basil can hang in there. Basil and Malik are a pretty good duo. But they'll, they'll clean up Solo Malik easy. It's just me trying to just whittle them down. Um, I'm trying to get banners back on my Bass the Sean Fallen. Uh, if I can regain any banners. Right now, I think I'm pretty in the clear. I can get as many banners as I can. Uh, I am going to like green again to get that last stack, and I think this finishes them off. Nope, nope, and there it goes. So definitely not clean, but 51. I'll take 51. 
because still haven't dropped a battle yet. And uh, all I got to do is one shot his, his whole team or his whole board. I think even dropping a battle, what is that? You get, you're missing 15 banners. So if he had not, if he had one shot, uh, 433, what would he have? 48. And why not bring in gas? Right? Saved him. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I don't want dots coming out. So let's just go right after Vader. Ba bam! I Wampa. And. Oh, I love that death sound. 54 banners. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. On ships. So he would have posted a good score. It would have been, what, 24-48-ish that he one-shotted that Dooku team. Yeah, and this is not, you know, a great uh, Akbar fleet. So I'm going to use what I use to beat uh, a guy in my arena shard that has a 615,000 power uh, rebel fleet. I bring in the uh, Y-Wing. Just to just in case, and then get another taunt out there. Although I'm pretty confident, it all depends on how they move first. But he obviously doesn't have relic pilots because I get the jump on him. Usually, this Dan goes first if uh, relic right up. Not this time. I don't know. They usually get the jump on me. And but bye, babes. Only one days. That's unfortunate. That means I'm losing taunt. In the house too. I like it when they're both dazed and they call in that. Oh, ooh, 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 close. So AOE. Why this then? All right, who are we bringing in? We're bringing in a tank just because my taunt is gone on my hound's tooth. <clears throat> and I'm not sure who he's going to bring in. I was wondering if he was going to bring in the Rebel Y Wing and then I'd be losing all my protection, but he does not. Um, I think that, yeah. I think that even a four star Rebel Y Wing probably would have been better because. Uh, yeah, bye-bye. I was kind of hoping I could get my plow in there, maybe get some more banners back, but there it is. And there's the score. Even if you had one shot and uh, got some more banners, 2465, it's a good score. You know what? Uh, I don't know if he scouted me or not, but I think – Smarter play would have been put your ray on defense. We got a lot less banners, and then it would have been an efficiency game on the rest of the zones. But I'm glad he didn't. Um, he must like to attack. He must prefer to, if he sees that his opponent puts down ray on defense, he must prefer to save his ray to kill. But um, I think that's risky. Although he had an ultimate, I didn't. Uh, Ray versus Ray. See, even if you win, it's horrible banners. I mean, in my opinion, if you got Ray, it's much better just to place her on defense if your opponent has Ray. Um, unless, like you saw with Nooch, he had ultimate Kylo. I saved for offense because ultimate Kylo, especially now with the buff, can blow through any variant of Ray, even ultimate. So, I don't know, but that's just me. That's just how I play. Take her to leave it. Do what you will. But there it is, guys. So uh, to win, I've lost two. And what are we up to now? That's 11 fights. So I am, uh, I am nine and two. Nine and two going into the finals of the last round. Don't know who I'm going to face yet. I guess I'll find out here shortly because I think I'm recording this right uh, at the end. I think it's like an hour. Oh, yeah. Look at the timer there. It's going to be under an hour till, uh this phase ends or this battle ends and then we got defense so then i don't know i think maybe i uh, will make a video possibly of how i scout an opponent uh, and then i won't obviously won't upload that until i upload the attack run uh, but maybe we'll do that today guys if you think that's interesting so hope you like that one guys please like please subscribe um tell me if you like the format with my ugly mug in the bottom corner um, I kind of like this because it lets me kind of pause the video, share some thoughts, analyze a little bit. Because when I'm in the fight, I usually try to comment 
on why I do things and 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 in what order I do things. But I kind of like being uh, recording my battles previously and not having to worry about commentary because it lets me focus on what I'm doing. And then uh, I'll come in here afterwards and put the commentary over top of it. So I hope you like that, guys. Please like, please subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. Uh,